Denise, on this World AIDS Day, experts in the field of medicine and technology meeting with leaders at the White House to end HIV. They say artificial intelligence is going to help. Caught up with the CEO of a healthcare company leading this charge. The White House set a goal of ending HIV by 2030. We believe it'll happen even faster. Um, through some of the technology pieces that we're doing. CEO and founder Raman Bastani of Healthvana, a technology company helping healthcare providers and clinics manage and communicate with their patients, has been delivering 50 million health records to patients, including here in Nevada, successfully for years. We have, I think we have a 97% satisfaction rate after tens of millions of records delivered, so patients really love what we do. They also work with the largest HIV organization in the world. He says society has come a long way since the 1980s when for decades being HIV positive meant a death sentence. But today being HIV positive means you have a chronic condition that can be treated. But if you're HIV positive and you take your medication every single day, you cannot 0% chance of transmitting it to someone else during sex. For World AIDS Day, Bastani is at the White House. The main premise of what we're going to be presenting is can generative AI help end HIV? And the answer is yes. Think of it like a personalized concierge for your health, he says. Technology they've created where you can get answers to your questions 24-7 in any language. It knows your health history. That's what's so great about the AI part. Um, again, with your permission, it can understand when you were last in, did you test positive or something? Have you missed picking up a prescription? All of that will be taken into context whenever you ask a question. It's all HIPAA compliant and helps those with HIV navigate the stigma surrounding the diagnosis that still exists in certain cultures. It also reduces stigma. If you have questions you're uncomfortable asking about sexual health, which has existed in our entire history, you can just ask and have this kind of unvarnished opinion coming back and forth to you in a way that's genuinely useful. And he says the technology will roll out in the coming days and be available here in Nevada in the coming months.